um, just to scare you a little bit, but this is interesting and I'm curious what you think uh, in terms of how you think this would happen, how, how, what do you think would happen here in a free market? It turns out that your auto company, right, right now the, the, every car that you drive has a chip in it. Uh, that chip is monitoring your driving behavior. Uh, it knows what speed you drive. It knows when you brake fast. It knows how you take corners. It's monitoring your driving. It monitors the engine. It monitors every aspect of the car, how far you drive. And that information is provided to the auto companies. That information is provided to General Motors or Ford or Toyota or whatever. And those auto companies then sell that data to a company called LexisNexis. LexisNexis is a data aggregator, global data broker. It used to be a legal search database, but the internet has made that irrelevant, so they've shifted to being this global data broker. Um, and all this data goes to their risk solution division. And then LexisNexis sells this data to the insurance companies, auto insurance companies. And then auto insurance companies use this data to assess how risky of a driver you are. And based on that, they will adjust your premiums. So if you notice that your premiums are going up a lot, it could be because you've been driving fast, you've been stomping on the brakes really, really hard, You've been accelerating really, really fast. And they have accurate data to suggest all this. Now, there's something really rotten about this, something right about it, and something very rotten about it. What's right about it is, yeah, insurance companies are really interested in this data. Insurance companies, I mean, it's great if they can really price insurance based on the real risk that your driving poses. It will actually make insurance ultimately in the long run for most of us, particularly for safe drivers, more affordable. So, um, this is, uh, uh, this is rational and logical from the insurance perspective. It's actually good for all of us in the sense that uh, insurance premiums will actually reflect risk much better than they ever have. But on the other hand, I don't remember giving permission to use my driving data for this purpose. I don't remember giving permission for the auto company to accumulate this data and then to sell it. There's something, um, there's something really wrong there's something really wrong with um, this assumption that data can be bought and sold, transferred, taken, and, and that the individual whose data it refers to has no say in the matter. Like you, maybe we signed when we bought the car some form that just allows the auto company to accumulate all the data once on us. But something's wrong with that. Generally, contracts today suck and a non-objective, and, and you can tell they're non-objective by the fact that they're so long and so complicated, nobody reads them. Contracts, particularly consumer contracts, should be written in plain English, should be short and simple. But we have a legal system that has perverted and distorted the whole area of contract law, and of course, that's one of the consequences of this, is that privacy is completely eroded, distorted, perverted. And they think they can just take out, take out data and do whatever they want to do with it. There's something very perverse about that. There's something very, very wrong about that. So if the auto company asked me whether I was willing to have my data sent to the auto insurance company, I would say yes. But then you've got a moral hazard problem. That is, good drivers would send all their auto, in auto information to the insurance company. But then what would happen, which is interesting, right? The insurance company would then take that into account. And if you refuse to share the data with them, they would raise your premiums.
because they would rationally assume that your reason you didn't want to share your data with them is because you were a risky driver and you didn't want your premiums to go up. So they would go up anyway. So actually making this voluntary and making and allowing individuals to decide whether to share the data or not, actually allowing individuals to own their own data and then contract it out, sell it out, instead of what is probably going to happen is some kind of legislation that says one way or the other, would actually create a healthier, better use of data and a healthier, better kind of relationship between insurers and, and, and for all, you know, basically for, 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 for how all of this actually uh, works. And, and ultimately, that means lower premiums, better service, the whole shebang.